What is up, people of Earth and beyond, Kaysonis here, and today with a brand new Madden Ultimate Team 16 pack opening for you today. Now, I just finished the Journey 2 solo challenges, uh, 64, um, little mini games, you know, you know how it is, and you get 91 Amari Cooper at the end, but, um, throughout the 64 games, you get all these packs. I've not opened any of them. It took me, like, two, three days to complete, really two days, like, one of the days I only did, like, a few, but, um, yeah, so you get two veterans, two all pros, an all Madden, a legend pack, a game changer, and one X Factor pack. Um, very, very cool. You get also two elite players. I pulled, um, Arian Foster and Junior Galette. Nothing to write home about. They both go for like 10k. Not exciting. But I was saving them for today because uh, today new Football Outsiders are released and there is limited time DeMarco Murray uh, only in packs for 24 hours. Uh, very, very cool. There's always a chance for pulling a legend. I've never opened an X Factor pack. I forget what's in there. Maybe a guaranteed elite, I believe. But let's go small first. Let's go with the two veteran packs, I believe is. Um, maybe two golds are better. As we get a Brandon Carr, Brandon Myers. I haven't got pulled a legend since Madden um, 25. So all of Madden 15, I didn't pull any of that stuff. So hopefully this year, as we get a nice gold badge, hopefully I can pull something good this year. Uh, having opened that many packs, we got Jason Babin, Pierre Thomas, and of course the gold badge. All right, let's get into our first All Pro pack. As we get a silver badge, a Golden Tate, 83 overall a Raheem Moore 83 and a Sterling Moore so two mores and then um, a Golden Tate uh, no elites yet um, last time I opened all the packs for um, Journey 1 I got no elites in those like 10 packs so hopefully I can get some in here as we get a Mitch Morse uh, Road to the Playoffs card so that's not bad we'll see if he's going for anything maybe uh... there we go 88 overall Marcus Mariota Elite Team of the Week Oh my gosh, what a pull. Go, I, I was just looking at him, because I was thinking about doing maybe the Thomas Davis set. But, um, 88 overall, he's my uh, chemistry. I might have to try him out. I mean, let's see how he goes against, um, Jameis, or, yeah, Jameis Winston. Better speed, um, he's got throw mid on him, throwing the run on him, but, you know, everything else kind of goes towards, uh, Jameis's, uh, favor, but not by much. Like, throw accuracy short is only plus two, deep is plus one. So power is plus four, which is a lot. But you know, uh, maybe I should sell him now. Just get a quick 60k out of it. Uh, Winston has been really good for me, so I don't really see why why I should change, other than just you know it's Mariota. Um, he's been very very good this season. But so that is very cool. Elite team of the week, Mariota. That is amazing. Let's head on to our one All Madden pack, I believe. But um, oh, we just pulled that player, Ahmad Brooks. There we go, Tehran Armstead. Uh, Road to the Playoffs card, very cool. Willie Sneed, Football Outsiders. This guy is an absolute beast. I have this guy on my fantasy team. Put him on the bench, unfortunately. But, oh, this is week four. Well, let's check out his stats. 90 catch, 92 catch in traffic. Um, Mid-80s, basically, except for out running. So he might play my slot. Um, we'll have to see as we get Chase Daniel. So, one Football Outsiders right there. Not bad at all. Let's get into our Legends pack. Um, maybe this is where we maybe we can pull my first legend as we get a Will Smith, a Amon Green Week Eight. He's a very good legend. Maybe uh, maybe that's going for something. We'll have to see. We can um, and a Larry Fitz. I love my Fitzgerald. Uh, great great player. Great player. 97 spec catch. 96 jumping. 92 catching. Just a great player all around. Um, so yeah, I'll see how much he's going for. Um, so we got one game changer, one X factor. Let's see what the game changer has to hold for us as we get a Brandon Albert, Jonathan Babineau, Eddie Royal, so straight up 80 so far, so that's not bad, at least overall wise. As we pull Charles Johnson, our second elite of the pack opening, only goes for about 10k, but I will take it. A hey, Philly Brown, uh, with the playoffs card, wow, look at that speed, 92 speed, 93 spec catch, 91 elusiveness, seems like a budget beast right there. Um, as we probably only have like two or two more players, yeah, that's it. As we get a gold badge, so not bad at all. We got a elite card, a nice road to the playoffs card, and a gold badge. Not bad at all. So our last pack is an X Factor pack. I forgot. I forget exactly what's in this. Uh, I do not know. Um, have not did not uh, buy these packs when they were out. So this is 
Uh, first time seeing them as we get a Trey Turner, who I believe is a rookie, Jake Long, uh, Elite Badge, guaranteed, OC Uminura, uh, Brandon Fusco, Malcolm Jenkins, oh jeez. Uh, blah blah blah. Michael Johnson, a Barry Church, and a TJ Perry. So I guess it was just 14 um, uh, gold or better cards. No elites there. But out of all those, uh, all those uh, eight free packs, I was able to get a um, 86 Charles Johnson, 88 um, Marcus Mariota. A Mon Green collectible, I don't know how much that goes for, and Elite Badge. I mean, this is all free packs, so this is very, very cool to get. Let's see how much this is going for, probably like 50k. 50, I mean, I meant 15k. And it is only going for 10,000 coins. Wow, it goes from like 42k to 17, and then it goes all the way down to 10. So, these are all free coins, guys. You know, you just do the solo challenges and you get these. So, not bad at all. Love that Mariota poll. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Case Onus, and I will see you guys later.